Hey people, how is it going? Today I'm gonna be showing you how to remove the blow trigger from your Android phones. I know it sucks that we got the pre-installed blow trigger from our devices, okay? So we can't do much about them, but here I am with the new tutorial. In this tutorial, I will be showing you how to remove the unwanted apps. Basically, the gamers will be most interested because they don't want unnecessary blow trigger in their phones, okay? So let's hop into it. Basically, in order to remove the bloatware, we are going to need some tools. Okay, so for the tools, I'm going to put the link in the description. So don't worry about finding the tools. Okay, so before we start our removal of bloatware process, so we're going to take some steps. Okay, firstly, we're going to enable the developer options in our phone. So for that, we're going to settings. Here, I'm assuming you all know how to enable the developer options. Uh, your device might be different. Here, we, I'm clicking on the version option. Basically, what you have to find in your about device that's this option build number. Here, you're going to click uh, multiple times unless you, until you uh, enable the developer options. Okay, so let's go back. Uh, okay. We're done with our phone. Let's put it aside. So before opening this app, we are going to connect our device to our PC. And one more thing I almost forgot. We need one more tool. That's called 15 seconds ADB. Yep. I'm also going to be linking this tool in the description. All you need to do is to download this tool and install it. It's basically an ADB driver, okay? It's, an, it's going to help us communicate with the app. So I'm just going to close it and skip this step as I already done this step. After that, when we connect our phone to our PC, okay, make sure you, our phone is unlocked. Okay, now we're going to this PC then here we are going to Windows here you will notice after installing the 15 seconds ADB here will be a folder called ADB we're going to open it and type CMD in the address bar okay make sure to type CMD in the address bar okay it's gonna open up with the command prompt here we're going to type ADB devices here I can see my device is listed here if your device isn't listed here make sure your drivers are correctly installed okay and you are also going to get a prompt from the device and make sure you give the permission to use the adb tools okay so that's all we need from this command prompt right now we're going to open up the tool here you can see is going to prompt us this option he basically it needs to, it needs our access to install the apps so we're going to click yes and always make sure your device is unlocked while un uninstalling the apps okay so basically you can see I I want to uninstall some pre-installed apps so before uninstalling the apps, I'm going to recommend you to only uninstall the third party apps. Like, uh, you can uninstall this Google Photos if you don't use it. You can also uninstall the GP. Okay. And one more app, that, yeah, this one, Music Party, because I don't use it. Uh, you cannot probably want to install this Google app because it will cause the problems in the Android system. Okay. And it's much needed know what I mean right so I'm going to uninstall the unnecessary apps I don't use okay for example let's just say I'm going to install this music party okay let's go back into the ADB apps have control uh, what was its name again music party okay here I'm going to go to this app M M M M. yeah uh, here it is I'm going to select it there he will it will give you the options like you can disable it save it or uninstall it i'm directly going to uninstall it you can also disable it if you wanna use it for future use okay so i'm going to uninstall it 
click on uninstall click yes no I don't want the backup of the app so I'm going to unlock my device again here you can see the app is uninstalled without any problem okay so let's try one more app uh, for example I want to uninstall the GPay okay uh, here it is I'm going to select it uh, click on uninstall oh, yes and no I don't want the backup so I'm selecting no here we go the GPA is uninstalled I guess this is it I hope this tutorial helped you and whatever the tools I used in this video will be linked in the description see you in the next video thank you